tension. Okay, let's start off with some side stretches today. So if we just lean out towards one side, reach into the side body, and then bring that arm around and sweep it all the way around the front, and then we'll swap it over. Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, let's wrap that arm all the way around the front. And again, deep breath in, side body bend, Breathing out to bring that arm around. And again, breathing in. And then breathing out that side body bend, stretch it all the way out and around. Two more of those. Breathe in and out, reaching out to your waist. Bring that arm around. And one more. Stretch it over. tall and just pinch the shoulders up and down a few times. Pinch them up and down. And we just want to just kind of reorganize our posture. Just letting your shoulders sink down. And now let's let our hands fall on top towards our lap. And coming into some deeper, longer breaths. Breathing in through your nose. chin back up and let's breathe all the way back out again. Take a long deep breath in. Now breathe all of the way back out. I'm going to go right down to the bottom of your exhalation. Lower down your chin, holding your breath out.
facing dog. Breathing in, draw forwards to a high plank. Breathing out, bend to your knees. And sitting it gently back. Let's say you come more if you can. But just know you can rest down to any point. Breathing in, coming up along the mat. Breathing out, push back into downward facing dog. Breathing in, forwards to high plank. Breathing out, bend to your knees. And sitting it back. Last time, breathing in, drawing the body down and through. And as you breathe out, remaining in the downward dog, and just treading it from one foot to the other. And just letting your hips work a little side to side. And just noticing how the hamstrings are for you today. Noticing the energy you have in your upper body. And just say to yourself, it's okay. We're noticing without judgment. And what you can do with your body today, you know you can take easier, you can work into a complete practice, that you are in control. Now let's leave the heels down, walk the hands all the way back in towards your feet. Take a hold of your elbows and just let your body hang here. So this serves to release out the back a little more, maybe a little more stretch the hamstrings, but if they're really tight, just bend the knees. Take a couple more sighs, deep breath in and blow the breath out. And then letting go of your arms, bend the knees as you unroll. Coming all the way back up to the top, bring your arms up towards the ceiling, take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, let's come out into a side body bend. Breathing in as you come back up. And again, let's breathe out and take a little side body bend. Breathing in, coming back up. Breathing out, letting your arms all the way back down. Okay, taking your butts up, up to the top of your mat. Take a deep breath in, raising both arms. As you breathe out, open the body, fall forwards, bending the knees where you need to. Breathe in, right leg stepping back, release the knee and lifting the chin up. Breathing out, left leg steps back and you hold to the plank. Breathing in, lower down to your knees, your belly and chest. Breathing out, upward facing dog, elbows in, shoulders down. Breathing in as you lower, breathing out as we push up to flank and back up into a downward facing dog. Breathing in right foot, stepping all the way up between your hands, lifting the chin, releasing the toes back. And breathing out lightly, step through with the left leg and fold. Deep breath in as you unroll through your spine. And breathing out, following your hands back to your heart. Breathing in as you raise both arms up. Breathing out, diving your body forwards and down. Breathing in, left leg, stepping back. Release the knee, lifting the chin. Breathing out, step back and hold into a high plank. Breathing in, lower to your knees, your belly and your chest. Breathing out, draw carefully up into your up dog, relaxing your shoulders. Breathing in as you lower, and as you push off the ground, breathing out, push the flank, and back off into a downward dog. Breathing in, left leg, stepping up, lift the chin, release the toes. Breathing out, right leg, stepping up, and folding towards your knees. Breathing in as you unroll through your spine, gaze to your thumbs. Breathing out, hands back to your heart. Breathing and raising both arms. Breathing out, diving your body forwards. Breathing in, right leg, stepping back. Push down into your right hand. Let's raise the left hand, opening your chest, looking up towards your thumb. So reactivate the back leg, find that calf stretch. If you're feeling good today, you want to go a little deeper, turn your front foot open, go to the outside edge of your back foot, Draw your left knee to lean forwards and draw your upper arm to open back. And then coming all the way back round. Now just letting your knee drop down towards the floor. And do a little bit more chest opening work today. So bring the hands out in front of your body. And then we're just going to turn the palms flat and then draw the elbows back. 
breath in. And as you breathe out, squeeze the shoulder blades together and back. Breathing in to draw together. Breathing out, draw the chest to open, squeeze the shoulder blades. Breathing in, a couple more. Breathing out to squeeze, open back. Breathing in to draw back in. One more, breathing out, squeeze back, hold it there for a second. And then bring your hands back on down. Curling the toes and set the feet together behind you. And then lower down upon your knees, your belly and your chest. Then taking your hands to sit beneath your chin. Let's take the right leg up, take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, bend the knee, point the toe, gently send the leg back. Breathing in as you draw it back down. Breathing out, point the toe, bend the knee, send the left leg back. And breathing in to draw it back down. And again, let's breathe out, sending the leg up and over. Breathing in to draw it back down. Again, breathing out, seeing how that back is for you today. Breathing in, keep it a little bit less bent on the knee or if you're feeling good bend the knee more all right so less bend of the knee if your back's a little tight more bend of the knee if your back feels good and then once you finish that last leg take the hands beneath your shoulders again and gently draw yourself up into up dog elbows in shoulders down Tips down to the floor, take a deep breath in, come up onto the forearm, 
Breathing out the lungs, sing over your shoulder. Tell 
elbow hand a little again, shoulders drawn back, lengthen through your fingers. Just feel like you're rolling the knees back on both of your legs. Alright, take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, let's reverse. Reaching towards your back leg, dig the heel in, stretch back, straighten that front leg if you can. Let your fingers reach down towards your back leg. Breathe. Love that lovely deep stretch coming into the right hand side of your body. And then place your foot down. Bending the knee. Now I'm going to bend the knee, but then I'm going to come around to the long edge of your mat. Now I'm taking my feet so they're facing straight ahead. And hands or fingertips coming down towards the floor in front of you. Okay, so they're beneath your shoulders. And as we take a deep breath in, preparing the body as we raise the right arm up, breathe out and look up towards your thumb. shoulder 
and move them through the leg. And if that feels like a good place for you to be today, carry on, do a few more of those. If you feel that you could take it back slightly into a back bend, start to open back a little further, bring it along by the leg with a hand. So deep breath in, open it back just a little bit further, bring the hand back down. A couple more. All right, and if you can keep going with this, it's really, really lovely just to get that shoulder and chest open. Those of you who feel you'd like to have a little go now at the camel, take the hands back, reach around with your elbows, take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, offer up the chest towards the ceiling as if you're about to balance something on your chest. Maybe look forwards, maybe look up, maybe look back. And then if it's still feeling good, Reach for the back of your legs or take your heels. And then engaging your core, coming all the way back on up. And let's slide the hands forwards, spread the fingers out wide, curl the toes and push off into your downward facing dog. Now, feet are hip distance apart, hands are shoulder distance apart, spread your fingers out nice and wide. And let's take the right leg high to the ceiling, bend the knee and point the toe back a little. And then let's just lock down the big toe, toe next to it, to the bone above your left heel and move it forwards into a single leg back. Okay, great position here for locking into the core, getting a little bit of core strength work. And then drawing back on up, let's take the right leg high to a down dog split. And then draw your right knee towards your right elbow and come into that floating plane. Right arm coming across, left arm can go right back behind you if you 
you roll the way back on down. Let's draw the left arm across again. And then let's bring that arm all the way back. Fingers pointing away from you, lifting hips, head drawing back. Reaching over and across. And then as we come back out, hands pointing, fingers away from you, raising that right arm, lifting the hips. And then coming all the way back on down. All right, let's just swing back that right leg, come back to where we started. Into the floor, push off the ground, back into your downward facing dog. Give your legs that little bit of a release out. And now, coming up into your tiptoes, looking forward, step through with your left foot and place your right knee down upon the ground. Let's take a deep breath in, raising the right arm, bring it across to the far side of your knee, hands in the prayer, or you have your hand coming down and towards the Leaning forwards, lifting your back knee. And if you're still going, maybe bring the left arm over and look up towards your hand. And then letting your arms down, letting your right arm back out. Lightly stepping your right leg up to the top of your mat. Take a deep breath in, come on up to standing. Breathing out, hands back in towards your heart. Okay, now if we step towards the middle of the mat, okay, just coming into a couple of balances here, just spreading out the toes, bring the shoulders open and back, lengthening through your spine, energize through from your core with your breath, coming into tree posture. Placing your right foot either to your calf or above your knee. Hands in your heart. And then slowly making your way up through the midline of your body. Taking your right hand back behind your left. Thank you. 
stretching your hands, just face out towards the ceiling, maybe just a little away from the body. Let's take a deep breath in, and out, sigh, out. Again, deep breath in. slowly when you're ready, drawing back up and around to seated. And just 
Feel the shoulders relax, the chest open. Taking a breath in, let's raise both arms high as if you're gathering all the energy in from the universe, draw it down into your head, breathing out to your crown, to your third eye, to your throat, and then checking in at your heart. We can finish with this single arm. Feel free to join me or listen along. Deep breath in.